Okay, so in this quick video, we're going to discuss the difference between introns and exons. So let's get started. Okay, so when we go through this process, we need to understand a few definitions. And first of all, the definition of a gene. From this picture, you can see a gene is a section of DNA with information to construct a protein. Let's take a little closer look at this picture. A little, let's zoom in. And we can see that a gene is actually made from a variety of these introns and exons. And that's the whole purpose of this video, to show and to understand the difference between the two. But introns and exons are the DNA that make up genes. So here is a gene right here. Here's a section of DNA. Notice how A pairs to T and C pairs to G. So now I've color-coded Everything in red will eventually be deemed an intron, and everything in blue will eventually be deemed an exon. Well, the other definition I want to bring up is the definition of transcription, the process of using a DNA template to create a strand of RNA. And in this case, we're going to create messenger RNA. So the process of transcription is going to begin when an enzyme called RNA polymerase attaches to the double helix of the DNA and actually breaks the hydrogen bonds between the A's and T's and C's and G's. So on the exposed DNA is where we're going to watch transcription occur. You might know if there's a DNA G, then through transcription, a C is going to be matched. If there's a DNA T, then an A will be matched. If there's a DNA A, then a U will be matched. If there's a DNA C, then a G will be matched. And so one by one, nucleotides are delivered to this RNA polymerase, and a chain of RNA begins to grow. The enzyme RNA polymerase moves on down and pries open even more A's, T's, C's, and G's. Now what about the DNA at the back end? The DNA at the back end kind of rezips, and transcription will now proceed with the exposed DNA letters. So now we have a long chain of RNA being created. So the enzyme RNA polymerase moves on down, the DNA rezips, the RNA polymerase pries open the next group of A's, T's, C's, and G's, and transcription proceeds. Notice how transcription is actually building off of introns and exons. Both introns and exons are transcribed, and that's fairly important. So the enzyme RNA polymerase continues to move on down, and transcription proceeds. And as we are nearing the end of this transcription process, again, we have a growing chain of RNA. And in this case, we're building messenger RNA. But notice how the growing chain of RNA is actually a combination of information, instructions in red and blue, of introns and exons. Now, we're going to ignore, we're going to move the DNA away, and now we're going to focus our attention on the RNA that's been created. Now, that's not final messenger RNA. This is what is called pre-mRNA pre because of the red introns and the blue exons. We, we have to process this RNA, this pre-mRNA, before it is reached the, the final uh, mRNA. And so now we're getting into what introns are. Introns are sections of RNA that do not code for a protein. Therefore, exons are the sections of RNA which will, will code for a protein. These are sections of RNA that will become expressed and translated into a protein. Introns, in red, are eventually going to be removed from that strand of pre-mRNA. And the blue exons are going to be spliced together into one long chain. And when this process is finished, we're going to just call that chain mature mRNA. The red introns that are removed are eventually just broken down and the nucleotides are recycled for use later on in the cell. Okay, so now we're going to process this pre-mRNA. And it begins by removing the introns in red. There are proteins that come along and remove these introns in red. And now the ones in the middle of the RNA kind of fold and eventually are spliced out. And notice what happened is the blue exons were all joined together into a long chain. 
this is the mature mRNA. And now that the mature mRNA has been created, the mature mRNA will move to a ribosome where the, where the information, the instructions, will be translated into a protein. So here's a ribosome, and here comes the mature mRNA that was just created, and now the process of translation will occur at a ribosome, the process of making a protein. And so AUG, you might know, is a codon that starts this process, and tRNA delivers an amino acid called methionine. The ribosome moves down to the next codon. GCU is the codon for the delivery of alanine. The ribosome moves down to the next codon. UUU is the codon for the delivery of phenylalanine. And one by one, the ribosome reads codons and transfer RNA delivers amino acids. Well, now we get to this codon UGA, and that's a stop codon, and that stops this process of translation. The ribosome actually breaks apart, and that mature mRNA is eventually broken down and degraded and can all be recycled. And so now we have a protein that's been created. But this protein, if you recall, was only created from the instructions of exons. The red introns were spliced out, and had no functional purpose in the creation of this particular protein right here. And so there you have the difference between introns and exons. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.